My name is Eric Languish. I'm a transplant nephrologist. Um, I did my training at the University of Iowa, both for undergraduate and medical school. I did my internal medicine residency at University of Texas, Southwestern in Dallas, Texas. Uh, following that, I did, my, um, I did my nephrology fellowship at the University of Michigan Ann Arbor. I stayed for another year to do a transplant fellowship at the University of Michigan. Uh, following my training, I was a faculty member at Oregon Health Science University in Portland, Oregon prior to coming here uh, to be a transplant nephrologist at UNMC. What drew me to medicine, realistically, I don't know if it's cliche, but I really do like the working with people. I like taking care of patients, making them better. I enjoy science. The physiology is amazing to me. I think it's incredible how life works and how we can make it better. Um, that's, that's what drew me to becoming a doctor. Uh, as far as transplant, I didn't plan uh, to become a transplant nephrologist. That was not my plan going into medical school. I didn't know what kind of doctor I was going to be. I went into internal medicine thinking maybe I'd be a critical care doctor or a cardiologist. I really enjoyed nephrology. Again, getting back to physiology, I really liked the physiology of the kidney. And then uh, when I found transplant, it really was, uh, it was the best of all worlds. You really saw people's lives transformed. You made people's lives better. And it was always very amazing to me how the whole process worked and how you could make someone's life so much better with, with uh, intervention and medication. Primarily, I'm a transplant nephrologist, which means I will see people with end-stage renal disease of almost any cause, be it from diabetes, polycystic kidney disease, glomerular nephritis, hereditary diseases. And we will evaluate them to see if a transplant will be an option for them to treat their kidney disease to try to make their life better that way. So, and then after, after you have your transplant, then I will manage those patients, try to manage the complications that may arise, if be it a rejection or an infection or an episode like that, to try to you know, really optimize the outcome of the kidney transplant. I think it's important for the patient to be involved in the clinical decision making. Uh, a transplant can be pretty confusing and complicated, and, and I like to take time to sit down with the patient, explain why I'm doing something, what we're thinking, what the alternatives are, and what to expect. Working in academic medical centers is critical, I think, to, to be successful in performing in doing transplant medicine. Transplant is the ultimate team sport. You need a surgery team, nephrology, pharmacy, uh, you need social work, financial counselors, uh, coordinators to make it all work. You can't do it by yourself. You can't be an island. There's just no way to do everything that needs to be done to make, make it successful. Um, academic centers provide that kind of structure, that kind of support, and the kind of people who actually are working to make the field better. And that's really your goal, is to make someone's life better and to advance the field.